Okay, previously din discuss natin yung uh, about relations, okay? Uh, for the uh, second part ng ating prelim, types of relations. Now for the uh, first part ng midterm, we're going to discuss uh, all about functions, no? So, ano yung tinatawag na functions? So, functions assigns each element of a set, exactly one element of a related set. Functions find their application in various fields like computational complexity of algorithms, counting objects, study of sequences and strings, to name a few. So, function definition, for example, a function or mapping is defined as f or f of x to y. No? So, map x to y is a relationship from elements of one set x to elements of another set y. So, x and y are not empty sets. No? Yan ang unang requirement ng function. No? X is called domain and y is called codomain of function f, which is represented by the letter f. Function f is a relation on x and y such that for each x member of the set x, there exists a unique y member set of y such that x and y is a member of set R which represents their set of relationship. X is called pre-image and Y is called the image of the function F. A function can be one-to-one -one or many-to-one but not one-to-many. The first type of function that we will be discussing is the injective or one-to-one -one function. A function F A to B is injective or one-to-one -one function if for every B member of set B, there exists at most one A member of set A such that function or F of S is equal to T. So, ang ating uh, uh, keyword here is at most one. No? So, dapat may isang member ng set from A to B na mayroong relationship. This means a function F is injective if a1 is not equal to a2 which implies that f of a1 is not equal to f of a2 so para ma-imagine nyo kung ano ibig sabihin nun meron tayong dalawang set for example this is set x at meron tayong isa pang set which is set y kung meron tayong member dito tatlo okay so, ito si y1, ah sorry, y1, y2, y3. Ito man si x1, x2, x3. Ang ibig sabihin, one-to-one -one function, dapat si x1 ay hindi equivalent kay x2. Ang ibig sabihin nun, if si x1 may relationship kay y1, at si x2 may relationship din kay y1, then, ibig sabihin, si x2 is actually x1. Nagpapanggap lang siya na x2. Since, pareho sila ng relationship kay y1. So, if that's the case, this is not injective. No? Dapat, hindi equal si x1, x2, and x3. Wala silang dapat kaparehong relationship dito kay set y, sa mem any members ng set y, in order to call them injective. So, for example, how to prove that within the set of uh, natural numbers, no natural number set, another natural number set, prove that f of x is equal to 5x equation is injective. So, paano natin nasabing injective? So, ang ibig sabihin nito, any function of x sa right side nito, si x ay may isa lang value na pwedeng mag kay f of x. Okay, so, explain ko para ma, ma ano nyo yung ibig sabihin. No? For example, we have a graph. Okay? And this is y and this is x. So, y is always equal to the f of x, no? So, actually, kung i-replace natin to, this would be y is equal to 5x, okay? So, any number 
na mag uh, magistan kay x should result also to y which is also a natural number so ang condition natin si n the first set is a natural number dapat natural number din yung kanyang uh, equivalent no so for example if x is 2 then we have 10 as y okay so since pareho silang natural number then 5x is injective okay kasi isa lang ang pwedeng maging uh, maging number ni x para marating si 10 no so kung igagrab natin tong 5x no ito yung x natin x value at ito yung y value natin so kung halimbawa si x ay 2 okay so si y ay 10 okay so makikita natin na para marating si 10 or ma-achieve yung equivalent na value ni y as 10 we only have 2 okay kahit na pumunta ka dito or dito sa left side mo pag pinili mo si 3 you cannot achieve 10 dahil 3 times 5 will give you 15. That is the proof that 5x, no, this, equ this equation is injective. Oh, next, we have x squared, the same. If x, for example, is 3, then we have 9. So only the number 3 can give us uh, the value of 9 for y. Okay? But if we are talking about real number to real number relationship or function. This function of x is equal to x squared will not be considered as injective because any number uh, which is negative can give us a positive number. So kapag uh, inano mo to, green up mo to, for example, si x i 3, no? So 3. So negative 3 will give us what? Negative 9. This one is positive 9. Okay? So, pag green up natin yan, it will give us si 3, si x, negative, ito yung positive 3, ito yung negative 3, and it will have, it will give us the same value ng 9 as y. So, makikita nyo na this is not injective because there are two real numbers that can give us 9. So, pagdating sa real numbers, relationship, uh, we cannot consider this equation as injective. Second type is surjective or unto function. A function f a to b is surjective or unto if the image of f equals its range. So, under ng surjective, kailangan i-consider natin yung range. Okay? Yung range is also considered to be the codomain or the second set. No? Anong ating keyword dito? Exist sum. So, for every B member of set B, there exists sum. No? Ito yung ating keyword. Sum A uh, member of set A. Such that F of A equals B. Okay? This means that for any Y in B, there exists sum X in A such that Y is equal to F of X. So, dito hindi na 1, no? Dapat meron siyang specific na member ng set which is kapartner sa kabilang set. So, how do we prove the following example? Okay? So, kailangan daw ay <clears throat> sum of the member, no? Para ma-prove na ito ay surjective. So, i-replace natin si f of x as y equals x plus 2. So, any number... Remember, no? Sa so, natural number to natural number. So, any number na ibigay natin kay x will always give us a natural number also uh, for y, no? So, x plus 2 is surjective. But pagdating kay real number, the f of x is equal to x squared is not surjective because we cannot find the real number whose square is negative. So, ibig sabihin, we cannot find any at least one, no? na ka-relationship niya sa kabilang set that could give us a uh, negative number. In terms of y, 
if this is uh, if uh, y is 4 it can give us negative 2 it can give us positive 4 but if y is negative 4 this one is okay this is surjective this is surjective but since the relationship is a uh, real number to real number we must choose another real number for y and it will show us that we cannot give a number which will give us uh, x squared as negative 4 okay so this one or this one cannot be surjective no if we choose a negative number for y so ano naman yung bijective so one to one correspondent pag sinabing bijective ibig sabihin uh, lahat ng member ng set ay meron ng uh, naka-assign no? na relationship sa kanyang codomain. So, each one merong uh, kapartner. Okay? So, kung may sobra dyan, then this is not bijective. Kung merong X dito na member na walang kapartner kaya set Y, then it cannot be uh, said to be bijective or one-to-one -one correspondent. So, ito lang yung ating proof, no? So, ibig sabihin nito, yung uh, cardinality ni X must be equal to Y as the uh, requirements or, or the proof of being a bijective. So, for example, proof of the function, proof that the function F R to R, which is real number to real number defined by F of X is equal to X minus 3 is a bijective function. So, first, Kailangan mo natin patunayan na siya ay injective. So we have to prove this function is both injective and surjective. f of x1 is equal to f of x2 para maging injective siya. So then, 2x minus 3, 2x minus 2. So 2x, x1, x1 is equal to x2. Hence, f is injective. So here, 2x minus 3 is equal to y. Uh, if we prove naman natin na siya ay surjective, so, x is equal to y plus 5 over 3, which belongs to R. And f of x is equal to y. Hence, f is surjective. Since f is both surjective and injective, we can say f is bijective. Yeah. Inverse of a function. The inverse of a function is a one-to-one -one corresponding function. So, ibig sabihin... So, inverse of a function always refers to a bijective uh, function. No? Uh, the function of A to B is a function G, B to A, holding the following property. So, ang inverse ng function ng F of A to B is the function of G or G of B to A. So, F of X is equal to Y and ang converse niya or inverse function niya is g of y is equal to x. So, binaliktad lang natin yung y and x and pinalitan natin for the another name of a function which is the function of g. The function f is called invertible if its inverse function g exists. Yan. Kung hindi siya pwede inverse then the function of g doesn't exist so hindi siya invertible. For example, a function f Z to Z, meaning integer to integer. F of X is equal to X plus 5 is invertible since it has the inverse function of G. Z to Z, G of X is equal to X minus 5. Okay? The function of Z to Z, which is uh, integer to integer again, is not invertible since this is not 1 to 1 as uh, negative X squared is equal to X squared. No? So, walang ganito, walang ganitong relationship. Under ng uh, z to z function, f of x is equal to x squared equation. Okay, ito katulad to ng example natin dito kay uh, surjective. Two functions f, a to b, and g, b to c can be composed to give a composition of g of f. So, paano natin i-combine ng dalawang function? For example, may function tayo ng f and may function tayo ng g. Then we can say g of f of x is equal to g of f of x. So, let f of x is equal to x plus 2 and g of x is equal to 2x plus 1. 
So find the f of g x and g of f x. So the solution natin is f of g x is equal to f of g x equals to f of 2x plus 1 equals to x 2x plus 1 plus 2 is equal to 2x plus 3. So uh, general rule natin is if the function of f and g are 1 to 1, then the function of g of 1 is also 1 to 1. Kung unto naman yung kanyang function, then the g of f is also unto. And the third one, a composition always holds associative property, but does not hold commutative property. Ibig sabihin, pwede natin i-regroup, but we cannot uh, move their uh, reverse, no? reverse their position. So that's it for the types of function, the composition of functions, and the inverse of a function. We go now with propositional logic. The rules of mathematical logic specify methods of reasoning mathematical statements. Greek philosopher Aristotle was the pioneer of logical reasoning. Logical reasoning provides a theoretical base for many areas of mathematics and consequently computer science. It has many practical applications in computer science like computer machines, design of computer machines, artificial intelligence, definition of data structures for programming languages. Yan ang gamit ng logic. Propositional logic is concerned with statements to which the truth values true and false can be assigned. The purpose is to analyze these statements either individually or in a composite manner. Propositional logic, ano yung definition niya? The proposition is a collection of declarative statements that has either a truth value or true or a truth value false. A proposition consists of propositional variables and connectives. We denote the propositional variables by capital letters A and B. The connectives connect the propositional variables. And in connectives, yan, later, i-discuss natin yan. Example ng proposition. Sabi natin, ang definition ng proposition, it is a collection of declarative statements that has either true or false truth value. So, kung walang ganong dalawang value ang ating proposition, then it is not a Ang ating declarative statements, then it is not a proposition. For example, man is mortal, it returns truth value na true. No? Whether that is truth, true or false, then it is, uh, it is considered to be a uh, proposition. 12 plus 9 equals 3 minus 2, it can return as false, then it is considered as Proposition. The following example is not a proposition. A is less than 2. Bakit? It is because unless we give a specific value of A, we cannot say whether the statement is true or false. Dahil si variable A, hindi natin alam ang kanyang value, then we cannot say if the statement is true or false. Then, it is not a proposition. So, ito na yung connectives. We have different types of connecti connectives. We have OR, which is uh, symbolized by V. And symbolized by inverted V. Negation, not symbolized by this symbol. Implication, if then by an arrow. If and only if uh, symbolized by a double arrow. Ano ibig sabihin ng OR? The OR operation of two propositions A and V written as A or B is true if at least any of the propositional variable A or B is true. The truth value is as follows. Ito yung truth table ng uh, ng or, no? Aliman dito sa proposition ay maging true, then the whole propositional uh, evaluation is uh, result is true. So, may isang true dito, may dalawang true dito, so true, may isang true, true, may isang true, true. Dito, walang true, so ang ating evaluation ay false. Sa end naman, it will be true if both the propositional variable A and B is true. So, for example, parehong true, so true. Isa lang ang true, so false. Isa lang ang true, so false. Parehong false, so false. So, dapat pareho silang true para maging true ang evaluation. So, or naman, kahit isa lang sa kanila ay true para maging true ang kanilang evaluation. Negation, the negation of a proposition ay written as not A is false when A is true and is true when A is false. So, isa lang to, babalik ta rin lang natin yung initial proposition. No? For example, si A ay true, so balik ta rin natin, magiging siyang false ng evaluation. At si A 
Kung si AI false, then true ang kanya magiging ending evaluation. Implication or if then, an implication A to B is the proposition if A, then B. It is false if A is true and B is false. The rest cases are true. So, ang uh, babantayan lang natin, if A is true daw and B is false, then it is false. The rest case are true. Yan. So, tingnan natin, si A ay true, but si, si B ay true, so true pa rin. Si A ay true, si B ay false, so false. Si A ay false, true, so true, false, false, so true. So, ito lang babantayan natin scenario. If A is true and B is false, so false tayo. Kasi ang ating condition, no? ang ating logic is if, then. Yeah. If and only if, if, if and only if A and B is by conditional logical connective, which is true, when P and Q are the same. That is, both are false or both are true. So the truth table is as follows. So, kapag true sila, so true. Kapag pareho silang false, true pa rin. Kasi, anong condition? If both are false or both are true, then the evaluation is true. Okay? So, see you sa midterm lesson uh, part 2.